this is Heidi Joy Trethewey with the OpenStack Foundation and the Newton Design Series. Um, today we're talking to Matt uh, about Nova. Uh, Matt, would you introduce yourself a little bit? Hi, my name is Matt Riedemann. I'm uh, Nova PTL for the Newton release. I've been working on OpenStack for a little over two years. I've been core on Nova for about two years. Um, started working out with packaging at for um, IBM's distribution. I work for IBM in their public cloud group and eventually sort of got into, we were running Tempest on our packages and that's how I got into QA and eventually got into Nova and the broader OpenStack community. Great. Well, tell us more about what Nova does. It's one of the most adopted projects in OpenStack. It's a, it's a core element of OpenStack. But for those who aren't as familiar, tell us what Nova can do. Sure. So Nova is the compute service. Um, basically, that's where you boot VMs. You can also boot uh, bare metal nodes through Ironic, through the Ironic driver. And um, containers like LXC. There are some other uh, Ver drivers on GitHub for like Docker and LXD, but they're not part of the actual official Nova repo. But and it also uses Neutron for networking, um, Cinder for volume storage, clients for images, Keystone for authentication. So it, it relies on a bunch of the other projects too. Great, and then um, let's talk about what your team discussed in Austin. What were some of the hot topics that came up um, in discussions during the design summit? So Newton, the design sessions for Newton were really building off Mataka and Liberty and um, just a lot of multi-release efforts. Um, I, we really had a lot of cross-project sessions in Newton this really, I think we had like five sessions with other projects in Newton. Um, the big ones were probably uh, with Neutron to go over the routed networks work that Neutron is working on because that's dependent on some scheduler work that Nova's doing. Um, and to talk about the Get Me a Network um, feature that we're working on in Newton. Uh, Neutron landed the API for that in Mataka and Nova's going to be integrating it in Newton. Um, another one was with Glance because we've been trying to integrate Glance V2 into Nova for a long time so Glance can drop their V1 API. Um, so we had a session to basically make sure we're all on the same page because it's um, communication is, you know, through IRC, it takes a while and mailing lists and all that and code reviews and stuff. So it's, it's nice to just get everybody in the room and make sure we're all on the same page before we work on this stuff for months. Um, I guess the other hot topics, I mean, the, the main things were like sales V2. Um, that's another effort that's been going on for a long time. Um, and the scheduler work that Jay Pipes and Chris Dent and some of the sub team has been working on, which I guess is another nice thing. You can really tell in the Newton design sessions that Nova is really sort of naturally grown into effective sub teams. Like there's an API sub team, cells, scheduler, uh, live migration. So we had sessions really around all of these sub teams. Um, we had our normal unconference sessions, which are 10 minute slots for people to just come and talk about whatever blueprint or feature they're trying to get in. And then Friday is all uh, basically just meetup style. It's open to discussing whatever. Um, we also had a session on low hanging fruit and getting started in Nova because Nova is a big project and it's sort of intimidating when you get started on what you should actually work on. And we actually have a lot of um, sort of mechanical broad things that people can work on to help clean up and get new, like just get their feet wet really. And this session was really talking about how do we clearly document what these efforts are, who to contact if you knew and you're interested in working on them and try to do that in a in sort of a common way. Um, so that was that was actually a pretty packed room. There were a lot of new, new people in there and the Etherpad was full of ideas on how to help out there. That's great to hear. So Matt, during, um, or as you're planning for Newton, what were some of the user needs and problems that, that bubbled up to the top that your team is trying to solve in the Newton release? So the main, the main user needs are really the things that, um, as I mentioned, like sales V2 and scheduling, these are really like scaling issues, technical, technical debt type problems. Um, so Nova's had sales V1 since Grizzly, but it's sort of a, um, an additional code pass to all the normal code paths. It's not feature, um, feature complete as far as the Nova API is concerned. And this is really about um, getting cells V2 to be a native part of 
anything you do at Nova goes through this cells V2 path. And it, it's about um, redefining a lot of the data models. And so everything is not just in a single database, but model more accurately for how everything works. Um, in Mataka, we laid a lot of the foundations and designs for how a lot of this is going to work, but didn't get a ton of like actual code merged and reviewed in Mataka. So at Newton, we've actually already made some pretty good progress on migrating a lot of the data, um, doing online data migration, so upgrades are smooth. Um, and then with the scheduler stuff, this is also a scaling issue because if you're using uh, things like shared storage, we don't actually model that accurately today. So this has been a known like latent bug in Nova for a long time. Um, and it's also something that for like neutron routed networks that they're going to need to be able to tell Nova like for um, IP subnet pools that they have a certain allocation of these and then the Nova scheduler can use them for booting instances into these things. Um, the other big user stuff that we talked about was really API uh, cleanups. There's two big pushes for this and even one is pulling all of the API documentation entry um, and actually cleaning it all up cleaning up all of the API extension documentation. So validating that it's correct and complete and actually usable. Um, we've been making, we had a sprint last week to do a lot of the cleanup of this and review of it. Um, the other thing for API is putting the policy defaults in the code, sort of like config options. But this is so that instead of a deployer getting a gigantic policy JSON file, it's basically shipped as empty. All the defaults are in the code, and then if a deployer wants to override the policy, they just have to do that one, whatever action they need to override at the time. Eventually, this will build into what we would like to have is discoverable policy through the API, so a user can um, ask Nova, what am I allowed to do, basically, or what is what is capable on the cloud that I'm talking to? Because if you're using libvirt, KVM, or Zen, or a different bird driver, you may not be able to do certain things on that cloud. So really as a client, you're only able to handle errors and it's not a great user experience. Well, that's exciting how much work you've already gotten done just a couple weeks after the design summit. Um, what would you say are the top, um, say, three features or enhancements that we'll, we can look forward to when uh, the Newton software release comes out in October from Nova? So if you, the documentation for the Nova Specs repo actually has all of the priorities listed out in detail. The top three are really um, cells V2 work, the uh, scheduler work, trying to get um, the data model in place for all the scheduler stuff, doing the online data migrations, and eventually having a separate placement API for um, our endpoint. So that eventually all the scheduler stuff can be split out. Um, but those are the top two, then the API one, the API work for policy defaults and code and the API ref cleanup is also a priority. We have a few other priorities that are document, documented in the Nova Specs repo, um, but those are the top three. Great. So as you know, the product work group has um, a way of uniting all these different projects' priorities um, with a set of themes, those themes being scalability, resiliency, modularity, manageability, and interoperability. And I was wondering from Nova's point of view, what are the um, top few themes that are going to be most substantially addressed in Newton? Um, so the sales v2 stuff and the scheduler stuff is really, I mean, scaling fits into most of those, I think. Um, as far as uh, interoperability, the building it up to API um, discoverability, capabilities and stuff like that. That's sort of a stretch. That's more of a longer term, probably Okada type item. So what we're working on in Newton is building up to those um, type of interoperability things. The, the other thing with the scheduler stuff is we had a pretty fair long discussion about how do you standardize and model host capabilities through the API, which is an interoperability um, issue. That's what I was talking about with um, Zen and the different bridge drivers. Um, but we have to sort of lay, we have to clean up some of the existing stuff that we have and model it appropriately before we can even start getting into these other things that are down the road, but really more for Okada. But we have other, uh, as far as like, main, a, a big thing that's already happened in Newton has really been the backlog that we've been carrying since Mataka, Liberty, even in Kilo in some cases. Um, we put a freeze on new specs up until the summit, 
which before we used to just say is, is once master is open, you can propose new specs and we'll improve them. For the first, I don't know, since Newton started until the summit, we actually said we weren't approving any new specs. If it was approved from Mataka, we would approve it again, but we've really tried to lock down new, new debt basically that we're taking out. We're trying to get a lot of these long running features actually worked on because a lot of the core team is actually working on a lot of these too. So the core team is reviewing them and working on a lot of them. So we need to get a lot of this backlog cleaned up before we can add new features basically. That's great to hear. Well, is there anything else, Matt, that you'd like to add? I think that's it. All right. Well, thank you for taking time to talk to us about what we can look forward to from NOVA in the Newton cycle.